Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Higher Revision video. So there's 94 days to go until the GCSE Maths exam and today we're going to focus on the topic of enlargements. So we're going to focus on enlargements, we're going to focus on enlargements with fractional scale factors and enlargements with negative scale factors. If you've got the Corp Maths Revision cards, cards number 77 and 78 will be really useful for you. But in this video we're going to focus on enlargements and we're going to focus on those questions. So I'm going to go through how to do them. I'll then give you some questions that you can try yourself. So feel free to pause the video and to try those questions. And then I'll talk about the practice questions. So let's get started. Okay, so let's have a look at today's video. So today we're going to be looking at enlargement. So we're going to be enlarged by scale factors such as 2, 3, and so on. We're then we're going to look at fractional scale factors and also negative scale factors. So our first question is to enlarge B by scale factor 3 using 3, negative 4 as the center of enlargement. Now feel free to pause this video now and think about how you would do that. Um, and then whenever you're ready, press play. Okay, so to enlarge this shape B, we're using scale factor 3 using 3, 4 as the center of enlargement. The first thing I would do is I'd plot the center of enlargement, which is 3, 4, which is there. Now we want to enlarge B using scale factor 3. That means all the points of B are going to become 3 times as far away from the center of enlargement. So let's start off with this point here. To get from the center of enlargement to this point, we would go 1 square left and 1 square down. But because we're using scale factor 3, we're going to multiply that by 3. So instead of going 1 left and 1 down, we're going to go 3 left, so 1 two, three, and three down, one, two, three. So it's gonna to move to there. So this point will move to here. Now let's do this point. So it's one, two left from the center of enlargement and one down. We're gonna multiply by three, so it's gonna be six left and three down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and three down, one, two, three, and that's it. Okay, this point here, it's one to the left and one, two, three down. So we're going to multiply by three. It's going to be three to the left and nine down. So one, two, three, and then nine down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And finally, this point here, it's one, two to the left and one, two, three down from the center of enlargement. So we're going to multiply those by three. So it's going to be six to the left and nine down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's it. And now let's join those points up. And that's it with enlarge B by scale factor three using three, four as a center of enlargement. Hopefully that's what you thought whenever I asked you to think about how you would do it. Now, one thing I just want to point out, whenever we enlarge B by scale factor three, the lengths of each of the sides become three times bigger. So instead of it being one by two, it's now three by six. So that means that the perimeter would be three times bigger. So whatever the perimeter of B is, the perimeter of this enlarged shape would be three times bigger. But in terms of the area, the area of this, whatever the area, now if this was a centimeter square grid, that would be two centimeters square squared. The area of this obviously isn't six centimeters squared. What it would be is because you're enlarging both the length and the width by three, three times three is nine. So it has to be nine times bigger. And later on in these videos, we're going to look at similar shapes and look and see how you would find the area of shapes that have been enlarged and also the volumes of shapes that have been enlarged and so on. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've got two shapes on a grid. We've got A, this trapezium, and we've got B, another trapezium, and B is obviously bigger than A. And we've been asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. So I want you to pause the video now and think how you would describe the transformation that maps A onto B. Okay, so the first thing we're going to say it's been enlarged. To get from A to B, there's been an enlargement, so it has been enlarged. And we're going to say the scale factor by scale factor. Now to find the scale factor, we'll look at the sides. The length of the top of A is 2, and the length of the top of B is 4. So it's been enlarged by scale factor 2, it's been doubled, so it's been enlarged by scale factor 2. With center of enlargement, with center of enlargement, now we need to find the center of enlargement and to find the coordinates of that center of enlargement, what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the corresponding points of the shape. So for instance, the top left and the top left, and I'm gonna get a ruler and I'm gonna draw a line that passes through those points and carries on, so like so. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna choose two other corresponding points, so perhaps the bottom left and bottom left, and I'm gonna choose, draw a line that passes through those points and carry on. And you can see that both of those lines pass through the point seven, six. Let's just check that. I'm gonna do the top right and the top right, and again, they pass through the point seven, six, and so on. So that means the center of enlargement will be the point seven, six, and that's it. So we've been asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. So there's been an enlargement, it's been enlarged by scale factor two with the center of enlargement seven, six, and that's it. 
Okay, so we've looked at how to do questions where the scale factors of enlargement are numbers such as 2 and 3 and so on. Now let's have a look at one with a fractional scale factor. So we've been asked to enlarge this shape by a scale factor of half using center of enlargement, negative 5, negative 5. So the center of enlargement is negative 5, negative 5. So that's where the center of enlargement is. And we need to enlarge this kite using a scale factor of a half. So that means it's actually going to get smaller. All the sides are going to become half the length. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at each point. So let's start off going to our center of enlargement and see how we get to this point, the bottom of the kite. So we would go one two three four five six across and one up so let's half those that'll be three across and a half up so one two three and a half up would be there now our next point let's do the left hand side it's from the center of enlargement one two three four across and one two three four five six up so let's half those that'll be two across and three up so one two and three up one two three so it'll move to there this point over here, it's from the center of enlargement, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across, and one, two, three, four, five, six up. So halving those would be four across and three up, one, two, three, four, and three up, one, two, three, so that moved to there. And finally, the top of the kite, it's one, two, three, four, five, six across, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight up. So half and that will be three, four, three to the right and four up, one, two, three, and four up, one, two, three, four. So it moves to there. Now we've got our points, we just need to join them up. And that's it. So we've enlarged this kite using a scale factor of a half using negative five, negative five as the center of enlargement. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've got a grid and we've got rectangles A and B and we've been asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. So pause the video and have a go at this now yourself and see how you would describe the transformation that maps A onto B. Okay, so if we have a look at A and B, you can see it's not a translation, a reflection, or rotation. So it's going to be an enlargement. So it has been enlarged by scale factor, scale factor. Okay, and then to find the scale factor, let's look at the length of A and the length of B. So the length of A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the length of B is 2. So that means the length of B is a third of the length of A. So that means the scale factor of enlargement is a third. Okay, so it's been enlarged by scale factor of third, so all the lengths have been divided by three or multiplied by a third to get the lengths of B. And now we need to find the center of enlargement. With center of enlargement, let's find the center of enlargement. So we'll get our ruler and pencil and we'll draw through the corresponding points. And as you can see, whenever we drew through the corresponding points, so the top right and the top right and carried on the line, and the top left and the top left and carried on the line, they both pass through this point here, which is the point negative one, negative two, negative one, negative two. So that's the center of enlargement, negative one, negative two and that's it okay let's have a look at our next part which is negative scale factors so whenever we enlarge my negative scale factors we go the opposite way so here we have got a grid and we've got this square and we've been asked to enlarge this square using scale factor negative two using negative two negative one as a center of enlargement so if you're quite confident with enlargements feel free to pause the video now and think how you would enlarge this square using negative two negative one as a center of enlargement Okay, so the first thing I would do is plot the center of enlargement, which is negative two, negative one, so there. Now we want to enlarge by a scale factor negative two. So what that means is that all the points are going to become twice as far away, but in the opposite direction. So let's start off with this point here. So to get to this point, we would go one, two to the left from the center of enlargement. So what we're going to do is we're going to double that, but go the opposite way. So instead of going two to the left, we're going to go four to the right. So one, two, three, four. So it's going to move to there. This point here, it's one, two, three to the left from the center of enlargement, so we're going to double it, so it's going to be six to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, so it's going to move to there. Okay, this point here, it's one, two to the left, and one down. So instead of going two to the left and one down, we're going to double it and go the opposite way, so it's going to be four to the right and two up. So one, two, three, four, and two up, one, two. So it's going to move to there. And finally, this point here, it's one, two, three to the left and one down. So instead of going three to the left and one down, we're going to double it and go the other way, so it's going to be six to the right and four up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and two up, one, two. And that's it. So that's our square. Let's draw in those points up. And that's it. So we've enlarged the square using a scale factor of negative two, using negative two, negative one as a center of enlargement. Okay, now let's have a look at another one. So this time we've been asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. So I feel free to pause the video now and think how you would describe the transformation that maps A onto B. 
Okay, so whenever I look at A and B, the first thing I can see is they're different sizes. So I can tell it's not going to be a translation or reflection or rotation. So it has to be an enlargement if they're different sizes and there's a single transformation. It's not as if you can rotate it and then enlarge. In this case, it's a single transformation. So it's going to have to be an enlargement. So it has been enlarged by scale factor, scale factor. Now in terms of the scale factor here, I can tell it's a negative scale factor because the triangles have been flipped. If we look at the other enlargements that we've done so far, even though oh, that we've had positive numbers and we've had even fractions and so on, the, the shapes always look the same way on the grid. But if we have a look at this one, it's definitely been flipped. So I can tell it's a negative scale factor. Now in terms of the size of it, here the length of this base here is equal to 1. But if we have a look at the length of the base here, it's 1, 2, 3. In terms of the height, it's 1. And then the height here, here, 1, 2, 3. So the scale factor is going to be negative 3. And actually we can check that by finding the center of enlargement and we can actually just check if it is a scale factor of negative 3 like we believe. So let's actually find the center of enlargement. So remember we join up the corresponding points. So here I can see that this point here would have to correspond with this one. And then in terms of this one, because it's a negative scale factor, it's going to be flipped. So this one is actually going to be the one down here. And as you can see, both of these lines pass through the same point, the point here, 0, 1. So that means the center of enlargement is 0, 1. So let's write that down with. And that's it. So I've said there's been enlarged by scale factor negative 3 with center of enlargement 0, 1. And let's just check that. I'm just going to get rid of these lines just so we can see a little bit better. So there and there. And let's just check and see if we've got this right. So if this is the center of enlargement here, to get to this point, we would go 1 to the right and 1 up. If it's scale factor negative 3, instead of going 1 right and 1 up, we're going to go 3 left and 3 down. So let's check that 1, 2, 3, and 3 down. 1, 2, 3. Perfect. Let's try this one. It's 2 to the right and 1 up. So we're going to multiply that by 3 and go the opposite way. So instead of going 2 to the right and 1 up, we're going to go 6 to the left and 3 down. So 6 to the left and 3 down will be there and so on. So that's right. So we've described that single transformation that maps A onto B. It's an enlargement by scale factor negative 3 with 0, 1 as the center for enlargement. And that's it. So I hope you found this video on enlargements useful, particularly those negative scale factors, and make sure that you're really confident with those. If you go to the description below, there's practice questions on enlargements. And I'd highly recommend that you print those out if you can, because then obviously you can do them on the paper and it just means it's a bit more, it's a bit quicker for you to go through them. So I really hope you find this video useful. Tomorrow, obviously three o'clock tomorrow, we'll release the next one. So I'll see you then. Cheers. Bye.